Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird One. In today's video we're going to be showing you the AMD Memory Tweaker. Even the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition is being able to getting better overclocks compared to previously. So what is this AMD Memory Tweaker? Well you could see it as the enlargement pill for the AMD graphics cards including the RX 580s and the RX 480s and whatever you want. Uh, those are also included but mainly it is targeted for the AMD Vega graphics cards as they seem to benefit the most out of this AMD Memory Tweaking tool. So in today's video we're going to get really deep into this new kind of memory overclocking or tweaking whatever you're going to call it and this will make it run sexy. Okay, so first of all, we will take the AMD Vega 64 and set it to some proper overclocking as this is really important to make a reference today. So uh, a lot of people that don't know a good timing or memory settings or voltage on the AMD Vega 64, this is a good video for you too. Uh, what you need to do is you can actually set the P1 state to about 1175 megahertz at 900 millivolts and you can just disable all the other power stages. But most of the times what I do is just increase it by five millihertz uh, every stage and just setting 900 millivolts all over the place. And the same for the memory, uh, I put it on 900 millivolts there too and about 1100 megahertz on the memory overclocking. On the Vega 6, uh, 56, this is 945 or 950 megahertz, keep that in mind because it's low, uh, running on a lower voltage uh, and it's literally a little bit of the BIOS let's say because you could in theory flash a 56 to a 64. Um, yes, the uh, RPM of the graphics card always has to be about 100% or about 2000 RPM uh, because you will get thermal throttling if you don't do that and you would lose some hash rate. So next up, what you need to do is just run it on, for example, the Phoenix Miner over here and we accomplished about 44.5 mega hashes per second at about 130 watts power consumption. So let's run the AMD memory tweaker and see what difference it actually makes. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to explain you really shortly what you have to do. So when you run the AMD memory tweaker, you can just open it with a CMD and type dash dash current. So you can see your current timings on your graphics card. And I'm going to circle them in red right now on the ones that I actually changed. So you can actually change the timings real time. Uh, but I recommend you just shutting down your miner when you actually do that. And uh, well, you can also automate it later on with the batch file that you run whenever your mining rig restarts. But these are the values I changed on the current timings on this AMD Vega 64. And what happens is you reach a 51.1 mega hashes per second with these and you consume about 140 watts on the graphics card. So we have a 10 watt increase in power on the graphics card, but we have a seven mega hashes per second increase on the hash rate. So this is really interesting how this works out. So let's slam in an RX 570 and do exactly the same. Okay, so let's go to the RX 570 this time. Uh, well, so there is one slightly difference. Uh, they have GDR5 memory instead of the Vegas have HBM2 memory. In here, I also tweaked the timing so it is better running at Ethereum. So this graphics card, for example, has some correct timings to hash at about 100 watts uh, doing 31.5 mega hashes per second. But keep in mind, whenever you uh, do these time timing adjustments on your graphics card, make sure that you compare it to your current timings before you're gonna set it to the same as I'm showing you here because just in case something goes wrong or you crash it out you just have to restart your system and start all over again so what I recommend doing is just setting the values one by one and see if it actually can handle these settings and uh, just applying them each uh, every single time and from there on you can go and experiment to push it even further or see what actually you can get out of it and probably I'm gonna make a even more detailed version of this explaining what timing to do what um, but yeah that's gonna be for another video I just wanted to show that for the early birds that already want to go and experiment with the AMD memory tweaker so I would say this was it for showing it off. 
Okay, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one and hopefully you learned something out of this video and I would say some happy overclocking and make sure to leave a donation to LUOVP for putting a lot of effort into this tool. He really deserves it. See you guys in the next one.